So let's see the motherboard components of the tablet. So as you can see here, this is the tablet. Here we have the motherboard. This is the battery. This is the tablet motherboard, as you can see. Here we have the processor, as you can see, dual core. This is the RAM chip. Here we have the BIOS. This is ICs, as you can see. All these are ICs, integrated circuit. These are inductors. This is ceramic capacitor or PF capacitors. These are diodes. Here we have resistors, as you can see. These are transistors. This is crystal or quartz, as you can see. The reference of the crystal always you can find X or Y. As you can see here, this is crystal. We have here X5. Here we have another crystal, as you can see, X2. You can find also crystal with the letter Y, as you can see, this is crystal, Y2. Here, as you can see here, Y3, okay? So always the reference for the crystal is Y or X, okay? Here, as you can see, we have resistor. This is normal resistor and this is network resistor. So this is normal resistor. And this is network resistor, as you can see. And those are ceramic capacitors. This is a fuse, as you can see, with zero ohm. Okay, this is a fuse. So this is inductor, diode, IC. This pads are for the mic. And this is for the speaker. As you see, we have here speaker. Here we have the bat plus and the bat minus for the battery. This is a flash lead. This is the same slot and the TF slot. This is the connector for the camera, the rear camera. Here we have the antenna. If you have a bad network or connection, you should check this antenna or GSM. Here we have another type of inductors. As you can see here, those are inductors. This is the reference for the motherboard. If you want, for example, to buy a new motherboard or if you want to look for the schematic of the motherboard, you should use this. As you can see, MB means motherboard. For every IC, you will find a reference. So this is the reference for this chip, for this IC. For this also, we have reference also for this. If you have a bad IC or chip, you should replace it with another with the same reference. Here we have, as you can see, network resistors near to the screen connector with zero resistance, exactly like a fuse. Okay. So if you check these resistors using the multimeter, you should get a continue with a low resistance and you should get a buzzer. This chip, as you can see, is the BIOS, the basic input output output system with 4 gigabytes the same also in this motherboard this is the bios always you can find the bios in the tablet motherboard near to the processor also here in this motherboard we have the bios near to the processor with 4 gigabytes i will show you in the next lecture all about the bios so the bios contain a program 4 gigabytes in size this program is the responsible for booting the tablet the bios is responsible to do a self-test so when you press the power button the program inside the bios will be executed and will check the all components and parts in the motherboard then if it finds that all components are good it will let the operating system to load if not it will give you an error. We're going to see the tablet architecture. So as you can see here, this is the first tablet that we're going to see. As you can see, we have here the tablet motherboard. So this is the tablet motherboard. And over here, this is the battery. Okay. So we find the main or the major part in every tablet is the tablet motherboard the battery and of course the screen this tablet has a broken screen this is just the only problem in this tablet okay of course we're going to discuss and to study
many kind of tablet motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding tablet repairing okay so as you can see here this is the motherboard okay and over here we have connectors usually you will find connectors in this side in the up of each motherboard okay then we have the inside connectors as you can see the connector for the camera the rear camera as you can see and this also for and this for the touch screen okay so we have here the sim card as you can see and under this cover as you can see we have the processor the ram and the bios okay so i will show you this in another motherboard as you can see for example we have another motherboard with the same working principle always or usually you will find motherboard in the shape as you can see in the shape as you can see also for this the same also for this okay so here as you can see this is the processor as you can see here let's check the type of this processor as you can see this is a dual core processor okay and over here this is the ram the random access memory always near to the processor here we have the bios okay this is the shape for the bios i see we have here four gigabyte usually you will find in tablet a bios with four gigabyte as you can see here we have four gigabyte we have another motherboard with four gigabytes as you can see we have also this as you can see here with four gigabytes okay usually you will find that the bios i see in the tablet motherboards is four gigabytes in size okay so this is the processor this is a dual core processor as you see the a23 okay usually in tablets they use the a23 processor as you can see also here i will show you another tablet as you see here we have e23 processor e23 processor okay and here for this tablet we have as you see the e20 processor okay so here we have the processor this is the ram okay here we have the bios as you can see here this is the camera and this is the connector of camera here we have the lead this is an ic over here as you can see this is another ic here we have here another ic okay so here this is the big chips the processor and the ram are the big chips in every tablet and of course the bios so and here we have the ic's as you can see here we have other component like inductors like ceramic capacitor diode transistor resistors etc we have some switches okay and of course connectors etc okay and in the other side as you can see we have here connectors okay this is the power connector the power jack this is the usb connector here we have for the audio audio connector here we have for the external memory card here this is for power as you can see we have here plus this is power jack you can use this or even this and here we have switches for the volume and for the power okay so let's see this motherboard also as you can see here this is the processor as you can see also this is a dual core processor so here this is the memory here we have another place that is an empty place for the memory here we have the bios with four gigabyte okay here this is inductors okay those are inductors here we have pf or ceramic capacitors okay these are ceramic capacitors okay here of course we have ic's as you can see so this is ic's we have here as you can see other inductors this is ceramic capacitor this is diodes okay transistors here we have connector for the the screen okay and of course here we have other connectors so as you see on the other side we have connectors as you can see so this is just an overview or the architecture of the laptop or tablet motherboard so let's check this tablet also so so i'm going to teach you about four tablets motherboard or five tablet motherboard in order to go 
deeper into understanding a motherboard okay as you can see here also so this is a motherboard always the same always with the same shape as you can see here so here as you can see this is the processor okay here we have the ram as you can see here we have some ICs we have here another IC this is this sim card okay so we have here some component like inductors transistors ceramic capacitors as you can see here this is another inductor as you see this is the connector for the screen as you can see here of course here we have the mic as you can see here as you see with two wires okay and the speaker of course this this is for speaker and this is wire always you will find the reference as you see here we have mic here we have the speaker okay as you can see here and this is the antenna for the GSM as you can see always you will find in the motherboard some references and some writing okay here for example we have V bat plus and V bat minus so this is the battery this is the plus of the battery and this is the minus of the battery exactly like like as we have in this motherboard this is the battery always the red wire is for plus as you see the positive and the minus is for and the black connected to the minus as you can see here we have antenna here this is antenna as you can see it goes here okay and in this motherboard as you can see we have here gsm the same antenna okay antenna or gsm is the same okay so for this motherboard as you can see also we have the the processor and here we have two rams okay two rams in some motherboard you can find just one chip ram as you can see here for example for this we have just one chip but for this we have here two rams as you can see okay this is the processor here we have of course some ICs as you can see this is the BIOS inductors diodes chemical capacitors as you can see so here this this and this are crystal oscillator as you can see this is crystal oscillator okay here we have another IC we have inductors this is connectors okay so for the tablet architecture we find always the processor or the central processing unit and the random access memory and the ROM or the BIOS the basic input output system that contains a program inside it okay so the BIOS as you can see here contain a program inside it this program is the responsible for configuring or for booting the tablet when you press the power button as we call it post or power on self test so the BIOS the first time when you press the power button the BIOS will check all components in the motherboard will do a self test for the whole motherboard and then will start booting the tablet okay